A comprehensive 2009 study revealed about 90% of the country's paper money is contaminated by cocaine. Scientists at Indiana University Bloomington are putting that theory and many others to the test using newer, faster technology. So here we can place a dollar bill in front of the source. After a while we'll be able to see enough of the cocaine that's residually present on the bill and uh, we'll be able to take a look at what that uh, looks like in a mass, what we call a mass spectrum. Just about every bill tested in this Indiana University chemistry lab ends up showing the same results. When it's tuned correctly, we've never not found cocaine. Cocaine residue on the bills you keep in your wallet, your pocket, or your purse. It's a small amount, but the speed at which it's detected shows just how powerful the technology in this lab can be. What's really interesting about our method is that we're able to find that cocaine within a matter of seconds on a dollar bill, whereas a lot of the older techniques uh, would require uh, hours. Testing dollar bills is just one use for this machine. So I'll start with the organic one. You can place just about anything in front of the source and quickly detect whether a certain element is present. And that has a lot of important applications, like national security. We've been able to detect uh, several different explosives um, quite readily. It's possible thanks to a mass spectrometer and this glowing purple helium, known as the flowing atmospheric afterglow source. That source is the key to getting results in a matter of minutes. The key thing with the flowing atmospheric pressure afterglow source is that it's able to very quickly uh, exchange energy that's coming from the source through the small capillary exit there onto whatever um, sample is placed in front of it. And that will allow us to very quickly and, and easily uh, go ahead and um, look at what, it, what those um, different molecules are. IU scientists have used the machine to test foods, drugs, and even computer chips. One of the really cool things that Dr. Pfeiffer was able to do uh, was he was able to look at electronic chips and find ways uh, to de determine whether or not they're counterfeit um, or, um, or the authentic things. And as they continue to conduct more experiments, they expect to come across dozens more real-world uses for the instrument. It is a, a helium-based plasma, and uh, helium is a really valuable resource because it's used for a whole variety of different um, applications but throughout science because it has a lot of really interesting characteristics.